High cholesterol, aka hypercholesterolemia, is a condition which does not typically give you easy to see symptoms, which is why it's widely known as a silent killer. Many people may not even be aware that they have high cholesterol until it's too late. After all, hypercholesterolemia can lead to a heart attack or even a stroke. But it can be really confusing to understand which specific foods support healthy cholesterol levels. So you probably assume that any food which is high in fat can contribute to high cholesterol. But wait, there's a rumor floating around that one specific fat-rich food may actually work to lower your cholesterol. Is it true that wild-caught salmon may offer some surprising benefits for your heart health? What micro and macronutrients does this classic seafood provide? And what can they do for your cholesterol levels? Today's big question is, does salmon really lower your cholesterol? Understanding the truth about food doesn't have to be as difficult as swimming upstream. Simply stay tuned to discover if good old salmon has what it takes to improve your cholesterol. Like, subscribe, and stick around for three free gifts. Now, take a deep breath, because we're diving into salmon. Does it actually lower cholesterol? Did you know that we don't just get cholesterol from foods? It also comes from us. Cholesterol is actually produced naturally by the liver. And believe it or not, cholesterol is crucial for the formation of hormones and cell membranes. Because cholesterol can't travel through the body alone, the liver produces lipoproteins, which are particles of fat and protein that help cholesterol move through the body. There are two types of lipoproteins, low-density lipoprotein and, you guessed it, high-density lipoprotein. When you hear the term LDL cholesterol, that refers to cholesterol carried by low-density lipoproteins. And HDL cholesterol is, naturally, cholesterol carried by high-density lipoprotein. LDL cholesterol is often referred to as bad cholesterol, while HDL is labeled as our good cholesterol. And for good reason. Too much LDL cholesterol can lead to the accumulation of fatty plaque buildup along the walls of blood vessels, which may eventually cause blood vessels to narrow and harden. The more constricted blood vessels become, the harder it is for the body to pump blood to the heart and other organs. But here's the thing. HDL cholesterol cycles through the body collecting LDL cholesterol, and then it's carried back to the liver and excreted. So HDL cholesterol does indeed help to prevent plaque from accumulating in blood vessels. In reality, if your doctor tells you that you have high cholesterol, that means you have too much LDL cholesterol, but possibly not enough HDL cholesterol in your system. Salmon will give you a large dose of fat and cholesterol. But which type of cholesterol? And what effect will it have on your blood vessels? The truth of salmon is just ahead. But first, let's get you your three free gifts. Simply click the link in the description below to receive Superfoods for Diabetics, Episode 1 of That Diabetes Documentary, and Snacks, Meals, and Desserts That Lower Blood Sugar. Improve your cholesterol now by utilizing these three diabetes fighting guides. Just click that link below and they're all yours. Okay. Let's get back to fishing for the truth about salmon. First off, let's get one thing clear. There is a difference between farmed salmon and wild-caught salmon. Over half the world's salmon sold for human consumption comes from fish farms, where they are fed highly processed, high-fat diets. But wild salmon naturally have healthier diets. And thus, they are healthier for you. But there is a catch. Wild salmon actually contains more cholesterol than farmed salmon. So what does that mean for your blood vessels? We'll get to the main differences between farmed salmon and wild salmon, and how they affect your cholesterol levels in just a sec. But let's set the record straight. Salmon, in general, is one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. It's low in calories and rich in protein. 
containing over 20 grams of protein in a 100-gram serving. Protein is an essential macronutrient which aids many processes in your body. And did you know that protein works to slow your digestion? That means, just like dietary fiber, it can help your body slow the release of glucose into your bloodstream. That's a main reason why many doctors consider salmon, especially wild salmon, to be one of the very best lean meats for diabetics. Plus, salmon supplies a range of other heart-healthy, diabetes-fighting micronutrients, including calcium, iron, selenium, phosphorus, and potassium, plus the B vitamins cobalamin, niacin, peridoxine, and thiamine. In fact, a 100-gram serving of wild-caught salmon can supply over 10% of the recommended daily intake for potassium, over 20% of the RDI for phosphorus and thiamine, over 50% of the RDI for peridoxine, over 60% of the RDI for niacin, over 80% of the RDI for selenium, and over 125% of the RDI for cobalamin. Cobalamin is essential for the production of red blood cells. Increasing your selenium intake is associated with a decreased risk of heart disease. Niacin has been shown to improve blood fat levels by reducing LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels while also increasing HDL cholesterol levels. Research suggests that being deficient in pyridoxine can double the risk of developing heart disease. But acquiring proper amounts of this B vitamin can help to prevent the clogging of arteries. And potassium can be immensely beneficial for heart health, as studies show it can significantly lower blood pressure, especially for people already suffering from hypertension. So, yes, salmon supplies an incredible range of heart-aiding micronutrients. But the true cholesterol and blood pressure-lowering power of salmon may just lie in the macronutrient known as fat. Salmon gives you a mix of mono- and polyunsaturated fats, along with a smaller portion of saturated fat. And while wild-caught salmon may indeed supply more total cholesterol than farmed salmon, wild salmon contains less saturated fat, less total fat, and less calories than the farm-raised option. Plus, wild salmon supplies more calcium and iron than the farmed version. So, obviously, we would wholeheartedly recommend that you choose wild-caught salmon over farmed salmon whenever possible. But at the end of the day, Either version of salmon you choose will give you beneficial fat content. Fatty fish in general, including farmed and wild salmon, sardines, tuna, and mackerel contain heart-helping omega-3 fatty acids, specifically EPA and DHA. The EPA and DHA found in salmon has been shown to reduce inflammation, lower blood pressure, and improve the function of arterial cells. A recent meta-analysis of multiple studies concluded that consistently supplementing your diet with EPA and DHA can result in a significant improvement in your arterial function, especially if you are already suffering from high cholesterol and metabolic syndrome. Salmon is also rich in astaxanthin, an antioxidant which has been shown to work synergistically with omega-3 fatty acids to provide some serious health benefits. By reducing LDL cholesterol and increasing HDL cholesterol, salmon's excellent supply of astaxanthin can prevent the buildup of plaque in the arteries, thus reducing the risk of heart disease. Well, now you can see that salmon does indeed contain a vast assortment of micro and macronutrients which actively work to improve your blood sugar control and your heart health. So, let's conclude this fishing expedition, because we just caught the truth about salmon. Yes, it actually can help you lower your cholesterol, especially that naughty LDL cholesterol. But even the healthiest foods on the planet should still be eaten in moderation and as part of a balanced diet. Also, remember to go for wild-caught salmon over farmed salmon whenever possible. What do you think of salmon? Let us know in the comments section below. Before you go, don't forget to grab your three free gifts. And please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our informative vids. Thanks for watching.
Now, go have yourself a happy and healthy day.